my dune buggy starter is going out when I hit the key I just hear a clicking sound so I think I'm gonna have to get under here and replace it you can see it right in here on the driver's side of the transaxle so the first thing I've got to do is remove the brown side of the battery so that I don't get shocked when I'm down there trying to do it okay I've got the ground off of the battery so there isn't any electrical danger now so I've got to disconnect electrical from here and here and then you can see one of the mounting bolts has some grounding wires on it and then there's another mounting bolt that's up there and I've got to take those out this bolt is recessed in here so you can't really get a socket on there I'm gonna to have to use a wrench to get that off okay you can see the bottom mounting bolt is a nut that you take off of a threaded stud and then on the top it's completely different it's this bolt that comes back the other way you take that nut off and the bolt goes all the way through back to the starter so you take it off on this side of pretty much the engine mounting for the engine mounts okay I got the starter out of there this is the long bolt I was telling you about and now I'm ready to take it back into the parts store and match it up this is the new starter you can see that the motor portion is quite a bit smaller than the old one so I'm gonna have to check to make sure this still works but uh, everything else looked like it was the right size so I'm gonna give it a try I slid the starter into place and I slid that long bolt through so you can see the other end of it over there now I'm gonna try to get the washer and the nut on there to hold it in place I got the washer and nut on that shaft on that threaded shaft so I'm ready to do the bottom bolt now you can see where the threaded stud sticks out for the other one so it just needs a washer and a nut to secure it I have the negative battery cable and this ground wire attached to this stud and then the nut tightened up on it then on the top this is different than the one that I took out I try to get this cable out of the way so you can see okay so I have the positive battery cable attached here as well as this uh, positive wire that goes on there now this starter wire this one on the old one was on this terminal out here in the front on this one this is the R terminal this has to go on the S terminal and it's around the back so it's a little bit different I'm gonna see if I can get a better angle on this so you can see but it's basically attached to the back side of that next is reattaching the battery ground cable before doing that use a terminal cleaner to get both sides of it clean before reattaching it with the battery terminal battery cable back on the terminal we're ready to give it a test start this is the moment of truth I'm gonna try it and see if it works it turns over so the starter's working. Let me see if I get it. To start. 